So welcome back to another episode of Shit That Matters. Today I'm working on the Mercedes. As it's been a, a, not an ongoing thing. It hasn't been, you know, mechanically fucking up or anything. But, you know, little things like I'm doing the headlights. Going to show you guys how to do the headlight restoration today. Probably should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video. But that's what we're going to focus on today is headlight restoration. I'm going to show you guys how to sand the headlights down and uh, use, you know, increased grit so finer finer sanding paper to get to that nice finished product so i already s did one headlight if, uh, the camera girl can show you there i have one headlight done these aren't clear headlights they are foggy from factory so they're not you know super clear but this is the one i'll be working on right now so you can see how it's yellowed and very pitted and you know it's not exactly how do i say in the best condition that one there i finished it off i noticed there's a little bit of uh almost looks like cracking from the clear coat i'm not sure now if that was just the clear coat itself ended up doing that or if it was hairline fractures within the headlight because from driving of course your headlights and your front bumper as you can see they do take a beating right so that is something that could come up so if you do see that when you do restore your headlight, do see, you know, little fractures or something in your headlight when you are restoring them. If they're not deep, it's no big issue, right? And I mean, it all depends cosmetically what you want and how you want um, your car to look. If you're very picky and that kind of thing, of course, you're going to replace your headlights probably instead of, um, you know, cleaning them up. But this is a cheap way of, you know, doing it all you need is some masking tape some cleaner fucking sponsor for that some cleaner i actually use a bottle of water too as i'm sanding i i prefer to have a bottle of water in it and then i know this sanding paper is not you know i, I just did a headlight so i have 800 grit sanding paper for the second stage so i use the 400 first so i'll be showing you guys how to wet this down sand it down first with the 400 I like to start off with it. Different people like to use higher grit or lower or whatever. You know, it's up to them, right? It's preference. And then I have this one for a 1500 grit to finish. Um, after I'm done with the 800, I try to polish it up as best I can. And you'll see that it actually does come out cloudy until we do spray the clear coat onto it. So I'll uh, finish masking this up just because I don't want to, even though there's a lot of rough chips and stuff, I just don't want to sand down more than i need to on the vehicle i don't want to have to do more painting as i've been doing all day today we'll start off with water simple water just spray it down and grab the 400 which is right here i'm gonna clean it off too because i don't want to get any little rocks or anything on there that um, would leave deep deep marks so always clean or have a bucket of water for your sanding paper or, or whatever you like to do I like to spray my stuff down keeps the water fresh and and um, kind of gets rid of all those small little grit and, and and rocks or whatever else that could be on there but anyway I'm gonna start sanding this up here actually what So you can see that it's almost like a yellowish kind of uh, color of the, the water turning right now. And we're trying to achieve to get more of a white. This is this is the boring part, sorry. But it has to be done to get to the finished product. And you can see all that stuff coming off. So that, that is going to be a bit of the plastic from the headlight. So even when you are in the final stages of sanding, you are going to get a bit of that. Um, it, of course, will be less and less because you are going higher in, in uh, grit for your sanding paper. But uh, you'll notice it kind of coming along. So as of right now, we're trying to get all that oxidization and, you know, years of being on the road off.
And another thing too is this literally maybe you know a total of amount to spend on this. Let's say if you do spend fifty dollars on all the you know the clear coat, Windex, and the sanding paper, it's gonna last you a long time. This is this is like you can do this multiple times on multiple vehicles with the same amount of stuff. So like the sanding paper, all you have to do is wet by one pack, and you can literally do like you know 10 15 20 vehicles right and also depends on how much clear coat you have but it'll last you a long time so the initial cost might be a little bit high but if you do save all your all your stuff like save all the stuff that you're using for this you can do it more than once so it gets to be cost effective and makes the car look nicer anyway So see, you can see all that little dirt kind of thing coming off there, which is what we want to see. All right, so as you can see, we are starting to get kind of cloudy. It's starting to almost kind of fog up. From the course of sanding, right? I'll give it a guys, uh, show you guys. Wipe it down. You'll see how foggy it's getting now. Okay, so now, right? It's a lot foggier. Take a shot of the other headlight. That's right, it's a hell of a lot foggier. Not so close because you're gonna show all my imperfections there. Um, so. Now, of course, the water. And 800 grit. And now you can see it is creating a bit of that like whiteness of course because you are taking out a bit of the plastic but you could tell now that it is actually white it's the color is not really changing anymore so you, you're we're at the stage where we finally got rid of most of the oxidization oxidization in the, the plastic in the headlight so okay so you gotta take a look make sure there's no deep grooves which with the sanding tip we're using we won't be seeing deep grooves anyway let's take a little peek any little spots you think you might want to you know kind of buff out a little bit with the sanding paper that's a good idea all right a little spray it all looks to seem it all looks to be evenish i'm not gonna say 100 percent because let's face it this is a guy doing it in his garage we are not a professional shop we are enthusiasts that like to do things on our cars and occasionally fuck up, which happens more than once. Anyway, okay, now we have the 1500 grit. So this one here, mm, see that's the thing I felt. If you go with the sanding paper and it does not feel smooth, it feels like something's rubbing, stop immediately. You probably have either some dirt or whatever underneath so right now there you go it's starting to be good now yeah um you don't want to be wrecking anything you know or leaving deep gouges what the fuck as i'm saying it's happening here not leaving gouges but This one here is really just to kind of, you know, reduce those um, those grooves that the other sanding paper left behind, which of course is not deep. So this is a fairly quick job, but you could tell, like, you can see by the foam how much like thinner everything is, right? That's starting to really come through. This is when you can tell it's it's starting to look, you know, how it's supposed to. Just 
Stone. Alright. So as I said before, as you dry off your headlight from doing this process, it will look quite foggy. And it's starting to fog up. The more I dry it, the more it'll, it'll, you'll see it gets foggy and foggy. Um, it does take a little bit of elbow grease, but you know, right now we all got time. Let's face it. It's not like we got anywhere to be. Everything's closed. Um, it's a good time to do little things like this to your vehicle. Like, you know, spruce it up. Make it look good. Make it, you know, especially if you're going to sell it or something or, you know just want to have a nice looking vehicle but this is a good little thing too if you do pick up a vehicle and you know you think of ways to increase value this is a cheap and easy thing to do so now if i can ask my beautiful assistant to grab that um, can of clear coat behind you and then i'm gonna have to get you to stand back because i don't want you to get uh, the fumes that are involved with this that's it no clear coat don't want the clear top. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh this is shit. So I'll show you guys something before I spray this. I'll never use this again. And I know it's people on there will be like, hey, that's the entire shit. Yeah, I know. I went today to uh Napa and I'm repainting um my rear quarter panel because the paint actually flaked off. So, so I had to cheap it out. So I'll be doing a lot of touch-ups, I believe, because I Try to cheap out a little bit and shouldn't have. So I got this clear coat. It's actually a two step clear coat or two stage where you take this cap, put it on the bottom, I guess hit it on the ground or something or whatever. And it uh, releases the two parts and it's actual decent clear coat. You can actually sand and, you know, polish that kind of thing. This you can't. So this I use for like little things like headlights because I'm not going to polish the headlights, right? And, you know, stuff like that. So for paint, for other crap. Anyway, I'm gonna do the clear coat now. So if you do stand back, I don't want you to inhale these fumes. Wear a mask too, if you can get them, because I know right now is a little bit difficult time to, to get masks. So, you can see that headlight pretty much come right back to life. It was almost like magic. Went from being foggy and complete crap to nice. So, yeah, it's that easy. So, these are headlights as a finished product. They're done, they're nice, they look good. Are they 100%? No, go fuck yourself, I don't care. Right? Pretty much that's the way I look at it. It looks better than what it looked before, so it's a fucking win. Uh, besides that, got some more shit coming for you guys. Um, We'll have some more reviews for vehicles coming after everything kind of goes back to normal. Um, yeah, that's it. So see you guys later.